Hey y'all. Day 21 of my stay in Budapest. And today's the 15th. Exactly one month before I leave Europe. So yeah, last day in Budapest. Got up later than I went to. What a shock. But I didn't get much sleep and it was just taking me longer to get shit done. So it's like 11.30 when I wanted to leave like 10. Well, at least I'm out before noon. Stop at Starbucks real quick to get like something to eat just like on my way so I can get to the bath. Cause I'm gonna be out of there by like two. At the Cheney Thermal Bass, I think. That's how you say it, I'm like really bad with pronunciation. Obviously I can't bring like my camera in again because like water but I have my GoPro. I'm excited because like I was really disappointed with this party because we didn't get to like go to like any of the pools except one which sucked. I wouldn't have done it if I knew known it was just that. Got to come experience in the day like you were actually supposed to. So yeah here's what the building looks like very like cool and ornate. I'll record a little bit on my camera first before I go downstairs. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Oh. Down off the bass, so they're about two or so hours actually in the water. So it's like three o'clock right now. There is a fake castle, as in, like, it's not the real castle, it's built later. So I'm gonna go, might as well walk by that real quick and. 
go have lunch at the Bosch place. It's like this restaurant where like two like Michelin starred chefs decided like they didn't want to do it anymore. They just wanted to like make like soup and sandwiches. They open up this place, it's supposed to be amazing. So I'm gonna go there and then go to the aquarium bar and that will probably be it and then head to Vienna. This is a really cool castle. I'm like really digging it. It definitely does look like it's a newer one though. at the lake, the castle and the clouds and the sunshine. Seriously like, I don't know if you guys could see like the big puffy white clouds, but it's like such perfect weather. I'm so happy it's not cold anymore and I really hope that it won't be cold when I get to Austria. I don't wanna go back to wearing jackets. Let me wear my summer clothes. It was basically a takeaway shop. Like they have like three places that it was really cramped. So I just got my food and like came over to the aquarium bar, but I don't think they let me in with the other food. So I'm sitting right outside of it. Okay, the bar is under here. Like where you can see it, because you see at this part it's like darker. And over there it's clear. So that's where they have like the ceiling of the bar. And I got two mini sandwiches. One is Quattro Romaggio, so like cheese, it's like cheese and garlic and some kind of jam and arugula. And the other one is like chicken with like raspberry jam and something else. It was called like the French lady. So can I give these a try? It's really good. The raspberry jam actually goes like great with the sandwich. And now I'm gonna try the Quattro, which is cheese and tomato, garlic, and arugula. Mmm, this one is really good. It kind of tastes like pizza. Nancy Wayne, they recommend it for my hostel. And it's super cheap for two small sandwiches, which is equals like a meal and a drink. It was like five, six US dollars. Just gonna enjoy my food here and then go down there. Hopefully before the sun sets to see what it looks like. Whoa, it's really cool. You can see all the water. It's really cool. It's like really nice in here. There's a duck. Can you see the duck swimming? So I got a beer. Cause um, the Unicum, which was the other drink I heard to try, is kind of like Jaeger, and I don't want something that strong before going on a train. And they say they don't really mix it with anything. I just, I just don't want to do a shot. So just got a Curse of Voice beer. I actually, I'm not sure if I've tried this before or not, but it's like a lager light beer, so. I decided at the metro station to get some of the chimney dessert. This is a vanilla flavored. I've had cinnamon and Nutella. Well, I've had it in both Kregel and Prague. It's actually in Gary. It's a beer. You know, I should actually get one here where it's from. So if you guys come to Eastern New York, because apparently I have them like everywhere, make sure you have a few different flavors. I like ridiculous, but I was just too lazy to hook up my day pack back to my main bag. I honestly don't have that much time. And I figured I'll just do it when I get on the train anyways. Like, I made it on the train with a few minutes to spare. Kind of booked it a bit because I wasn't sure exactly where the train would be. But thank God it was literally like right up the stairs. Like I didn't have to go left or right. It was the one right as soon as you get in. It's about a two hour and 40 minute train ride or so. We should be in Vienna around a little after nine. Let's head to Vienna, guys. The Danube, which will still be in Vienna. I'm pretty sure once through there as well. Just got in to Vienna, about 9.20 right now. And I'm so tired, guess what I did the whole train ride? I slept. I didn't leave reviews on Hostel World and watch a movie and read a book. I didn't even pull out my iPad because it was in my big bag and I didn't even want to deal with that. I also didn't reorganize my bag and shit like I was, said I was gonna do so I didn't have to wear this. 
like a pregnant belly that's really not comfortable at all like I honestly can't tell if it's my big bag or the small but I haven't had any issues with the big bag so far so I think it's because of the small being on top too but it's like really like pulling right here on my arm so it's hurting a lot but I was just like so so tired this is the real side of traveling guys you're just exhausted all the time especially when you woken up when you went to bed at like 4 30 at like 6 30 in the morning by people having sex so loudly in your room the bed is like moving and shaking i could hear it through my headphones through my music i have my music at about halfway because i don't like having a blast it's more just supposed to tune out some stuff i had to crank that shit up so i would not hear that bed moving and shaking and hitting the wall. I felt so bad for the girl I talked to later who was on the top bunk of that bed. Oh hell no, if that doesn't happen to me, I would've been like, get the fuck out of here. So yeah, not fun. All right, here it is, Hostel Rufensteiner. Hello. Hello. 